Now that's nice and dry. Let's get a little more glow into that sky, okay? Ah, a little bit of yellow up here, then your cadmium yellow again. See the way I have it down here? And just a few blobs on it first of all, like that. Very simple. And then just clean off your brush. Don't have too much on it. And then start blending it out. So we're getting all these various layers, okay? Which are building up the glow. Now, what we're going to do is, that that's nice now. That's getting that lovely glow into it as well. And you see we have the depth of here. So what we might do is, because this is so delicate, this way of almost like a br dry brush over another color, we'd have to let that dry again. But we can come down here and start putting in the grasses. This is all the background and the foreground for our wonderful cottages that Rebecca wants to explore. So we're going to get to those, don't worry. But we have to get in all of these surrounding bits first. And look what we have here, our light permanent green, which you're all familiar with. You know, if you don't have green, just mix yellow and blue. Any yellow or any blue will give you a different type of green, okay? And just work with that. Any questions or anything that you want to ask me, ask me on YouTube or my website, send me an email. It's all there on the website on YouTube, you know, john at nolanart.com. Um, I can answer easy questions. Don't send me any difficult ones. Okay, now here we go. We're going to start with the grasses. All the grasses are going to go over to the right again as usual. If you're left-handed, put them to the left, whichever way you find more comfortable. And we're using the my big, it's not my biggest one, as you know. My, what my biggest brush is, if I have one here, look, see it? This is from my big canvases, but this one is okay for this size. And we're just using the tip of the brush this way. Anyways, we're not using the, on, on, on the flat, we'll use it down here, okay, for the wider strokes. But up here, you want sort of fairly thin strokes like that. Can you see the idea? And you want them just to come above the base of the mountain. Because we're going to sit our little cottage in behind that and the little outhouse as well. But you can see already the fabulous contrast with the colours we're putting in now, okay? With the greens and the oranges and the yellows and the, the cadmium, well, the cadmium light red. Okay, now that's all you have to do there first because don't forget, we're going to bring in other colours on top of these greens, but we just want to get in a base colour. Keep your stroke leaning over to the right, you know, to get that sense of a bit of movement into it. You know, you could even come back another way if you wanted to. Like if this was Vincent van Gogh, he'd be coming back this way again. We might, we'll do that at the front with the final, um, well, we're gonna put in poppies into this anyway. But we'll just stick to this, this way for the moment. But if you want, you can go back the other way as well, if you want, just to get even more movement into it. Experiment, you know? I'm not telling you what to do. I'm just suggesting things that you might be interested in trying out, you know? But I mean, it's your, it's your painting. Paint what you feel. If you feel you want to try the, the grass is going in another direction, do it. This is just in my way of doing it. Okay, we're going to come all the way across here. We're coming all the way across, right across here, and we're going to bring them strokes right down, right down to the bottom. Yeah, I'll be up now in a minute. That's Miriam telling me my dinner's ready, so I'll have to. Uh, well. So the continuity won't be interrupted <laughs> because uh, when I finish my dinner, don't worry, we'll be going on to the next one, the next video. Now, do you see, see the way we're getting all those lovely movements into it? So just by using a little technique like that, and then as we come up closer to the foreground, we're widening the brush stroke, okay? And letting some of that blue come through as well. And we're widening the brush stroke because it's a type of perspective painting, you know, the grasses are thinner in the in the distance but they're wider up front okay now this is going to be another short video because if i don't go for my dinner miriam start knocking continuously and shouting your dinner's ready so i know she's so good i do make the dinner sometimes as well but i can't paint and make the dinner at the same time okay we let this dry and then i'll continue with another short video but can you see look all well, you have there is sky, mountain, middle ground, foreground. You already have a landscape. We haven't even gone near the cottages yet that Rebecca really wants to work on. But don't worry, they'll be taken up here in the centre and we'll get to those with a small round brush. Okay, I'll be back shortly. Enjoy.